And one time I got out from work and usually I take a nap in the afternoon. I, I put her on my chest and she was sleeping. But all of a sudden, I swear, I'm not kidding, I heard a voice. And she said literally, in, in, of course, in Lebanese, uh, Baba, is she la ambit sawi inti, ambit fakir fi, sawi, u badak tinja. So, translation, she said literally, uh, Daddy, whatever you're thinking of, whatever you're planning of, just do it and you will make it. I swear to God. One week later, I had a plane ticket, I uh, borrowed money for that plane ticket and come to the United States. When we decide to come here, it's not, let's go have toga, it's, I need toga. <laughs> it's my honor you wear this t-shirt. How about that? Okay. We're gonna wear it all the time. How fast can you chop? Fast. <laughs> I can chop very fast. <laughs> Lebanese licorice alcohol drink. I got involved with the family business back home. Like, you know, I had to. My father, he started like 1950, when he started to drag the cart, you know, go to the public places like movie theaters, uh, food market, uh, produce market. You know, where's this gathering? You know, he sells his sandwiches and, you know, he came back, prepare anything more at the house, go back, you know, sell it, come back, and so on. And then he saved some money, he expanded, he bought uh, a stand, like food truck, but a stand. People keep coming and people ask him about him, you know, because he has good sandwiches. He saved, he bought another small shop in downtown Sidon, and where it exists until now. I came here in 1978 as a student. I stayed in Michigan for four years. I transferred to Lafayette to go to business college in USL, which is UL now, and graduated in a business management degree. I was 17 when we moved here. That was after high school. Uh, Dad wanted to open a restaurant, and I was like, okay. Yeah, like all our life we knew that was going to open a restaurant. We were nervous at first because we weren't sure how, how it's going to work out and how, how successful it will be and all that. But we put our hands in each other, with each other, and yeah, then in a bar. Should I play? He translated literally what he said, put our hands in each other. Um, like we said in Arabic, like put, like, you know? Okay. Like it's a, it's a, it's a saying. Okay. He translated literally. Like, I can work here my whole life just helping out my family, you know, it's all about family. Having family and my brothers and I love them more than anything. And Hadi basically like, like runs the front part of the restaurant and Sammy's like the back part. And that's how they make like such a good, like, you know, like a brother click, you know, because they work together in order to make something big. And that's what I love about them. And I also look up to them and Hopefully, be like them one day, you know. No, but Ilham, she's an angel. She is. I'm, we're really lucky to have her in our life. She's an all, our only sister, and uh, she she does the job from her heart. She she helps us a lot with everything. Hadi is my partner in crime. We're nothing alike. We're opposite, but that's what keeps us going. Ha having cold and hot water is a good thing in in a family. It keeps the water boiling. 
I can draw the picture, but he can paint it real well. As far as like business or restaurant owners. Well, she's my other half, but his like my other half and life, life yeah. And uh, yeah, without him, I would be nothing. Really. Oh. Yeah. Sammy and her, they, they were like the first ones in my life. I mean, you know, and uh, Hadi, he is quiet. Sammy is the type of person that, you know, he makes that food really good, but at the same time, what's good about him to make him like more lovable, likable, he feeds you before he feeds himself. My family and their family have been friends for probably three or four years now. I knew when they first started in the business over here, so we've been coming here since the very beginning because they're just genuine people. And you, you want to give business to people like that, plus the food is fabulous, so it's easy to come somewhere where the food's as good as it is here. And these guys started off small, and now they've got a wonderful bar area, completely renovated, and it's a great place. It's a great social gathering place now instead of just a place to eat like it was before. First time I came to Togo was probably about seven years ago uh, with my boss, and we're just addicts now. We love coming. We love Sammy and Patty and Jamal. They're just wonderful. Awesome food. Awesome food. Awesome people. Me, you know, I control things for them, and Sammy control in the kitchen, and Hadi the management. So when we expanded recently. Uh, that's how we made it successful in a family business way. Once they changed and, and, and opened it up a little bit and had more seating and then a bar, it's like, oh man, this is going to be one of the favorite restaurants right here. The location, I, being uh, a resident of South Lake Charles, we're, we're somewhat limited in, uh, in you know types of restaurants that we have, the, the variety of restaurants, and so I'm just a real nice surprise to see this pop open. Toga Grill opened in 2007, November 1st. So in this November 1st, uh, 2017, is going to be our eighth year. Anniversary. We're kids. We cook eggs. Me and him, we're trying to see who's the best. I never use butter or oil or nothing. I just put, you know, like, you know, crack the egg in the skillet. He was over there mixing it from the spices and onions and stuff. And we were three or four, believe it or not, that, that young. He's always passionate in the kitchen. And I, I just, for me, I can't do that cooking, you know? I've always been interested in cooking, you know, since I was, like, young. I love food so much. And all my family cooks, and I've been around with our own food since I was born, literally. We always had food on the table. I was just obsessed with food, and I, I don't mind being around it and committed to it the rest of my life. And it makes me so happy. Mediterranean food is all cooked with olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, a lot of greens. We, we don't use a lot of butter or dairy or all that stuff. We use a lot of healthy, organic, fresh based. And it's so good for the soul. When I'm cooking something in the kitchen and the uh, customer receives that plate, I want them to reach their soul and make them feel, take a deep breath while they're eating it. Make them feel, wow, this is made with love. This is real food. <laughs> Happy birthday, yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, what is it again? Oh, it's always the last Jim's the MC. This is Tut Kenny, right? I'm eating that. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoyed it. Thank you, Sammy, so much. Oh my God. How'd you make that? We left a small family back home. And when we came here, we made a bigger family, which is a blessing.
again and again a, a dream came true and uh, I just want to end it with thank you America that's it